Two days after the first shipment of 350 tons of disaster relief items arrived in St. Vincent and the Grenadines from Guyana, another shipment is on its way and Guyana is preparing to set sail yet another vessel with 275 tons of relief supplies. In a telephone interview with the Newsroom on Monday, Director General of the Civil Defense Commission, Lieutenant Colonel Kester Craig said this third shipment will make a stop in Barbados before heading to the volcano-ravaged island of St. Vincent. Craig said Guyana has included in this shipment, in keeping with President Irfan Ali's promise, water tanks and water for Barbados. Already affected by the ash from the volcano, which forced the closure of the airport and blackened parts of the island, Barbados remains cautious that with more eruptions expected. Meanwhile, shortly after the first shipment arrived in St. Vincent on Saturday last, Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez, referring to biblical teachings, hailed Guyana as the head cornerstone in the Caribbean community Carcom. PM Gonzalez also thanked President Irfan Ali personally, referring to him as a good Samaritan. This is a significant shipment. It's, it's about 300 tons. 350 tons. 350 tons. 350 tons. That is a big, this is a big donation. And there are, other, there are other donations coming, I've been advised. And I used to always say in the, in the days when things were a little more difficult in Guyana, that Guyana would be the head cornerstone in Caricom. And it's almost like biblical prophecy being fulfilled. The stone that the builder reject become the head cornerstone. And I'm very happy to see that we have this group of our good friends. And I thank the government of Guyana from the bottom of my heart. In an interview with the newsroom on Friday, Guyana's Consul General in St. Vincent, Nigel Russell, explained that the bulk of the relief items in the first shipment will go to the government of St. Vincent to help them bring relief to persons in shelters across the country, while two crates of requested items will go directly to his office to assist persons on the ground. The island, which has experienced several eruptions at the volcano in the last seven days, is still dealing with the effects of falling ash. The volcano remains active. It began to explosively erupt two Fridays ago, and there have been periodic eruptions covering the island with ash and volcanic flows of molten rock and gas have gushed down the mountainside.